This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Thursday. The Long Island community is ready to welcome basketball teams from around the country next year. The North Long Island High School Basketball Jamry is a slam dunk affair and something persons in the communities are welcoming, especially after the hurricane. Our Julian Gibson was there over the weekend and he tells us that the countdown is on for this ground showdown. Kelsey plans are well in place for the staging of the North Long Island High School Basketball Jamboree. It will take place February of next year. It's going to be a lot of hard work. Um, we lost a lot of the stuff at the Miller's Park, but we'll be back up and ready. I guess you guys have already started registration, sending out invitations? Yes, we've already started and um, teams have already confirmed. We've got confirmation from San Salvador and Harbor Island already, as well as some schools in NASA. So it's going to be a smashing success and in February, the Jamboree is the place to be. And we want more schools. We want this to be the biggest ever, especially in the new division that we brought out last year. We brought out the mini junior division as the under 14, and that was a smashing success. So we're looking for numbers to grow, especially in that area. And according to Jimmy and Adderley, there was some discussion to postpone the tournament, but that issue was quickly squashed. Reason being, the tournament is too important to the economy of Long Island. The Jamboree definitely pumps thousands of dollars into the economy. Um, far as airlines coming in, um, rooms, food, vehicles. So we need this in our economy, especially in this time. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Thanks so much, Julian. With the cancellation of the Father Marcy and Peters basketball tournament, the Bahamas Scholastic Athletic Association is staging a three-day tournament designed to provide play for those teams who usually participate in the Christmas Jamboree. After we learned that the Father Marcy and Peters tournament was not going to be played, our association decided to step in. After our teams decided they wanted to play, and then Hub Riding, they were already set to come to the tournament, so they're in town. So they wanted to play, so we decided to host this tournament. In our association right now, we are running seven divisions. Our association now is on the move. We're running mini games, five-year-olds to nine-year-olds. So right now, this helps to expand our association, helps to get our association on the map as the premier association in the country. Basically, the junior boys, the intermediate boys, they're running pools, and everyone else, double elimination. Right now, the tournament is going great. We have some 35 teams now registered. We're gonna have six championship games played on Friday. Friday, we begin at 12 noon. It might just be an early Christmas gift for Bahamian boxer Toriano Johnson, whose one wish is to fight here at home. According to Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, Dr. Daniel Johnson, that dream is almost close to becoming a reality. That fight is just one of many sporting activities on the sporting calendar. We're looking at the, the, the major, major push for Toriano Johnson in the new year to get to unify all the belts. He will be the next Elijah Obed. So with boxing is back on the table, we got a huge cadre of, of young boxers. There are international events coming to the Bahamas like crazy of that regard. We also know we're getting ready for the World Cup of beach soccer. FIFA is sending their number one growing sport. Beach soccer is now the fastest growing sport on the planet. And the Bahamas is now getting ready to host the world at beach soccer. Um, of course, we got the best beaches in the world. Um, we just got to make sure our players are some of the best in the world. We know we have the athletic talent in the country. Three more weeks remain in the NFL and the boys are now following the stars to try and catch me. Let's see how they did last week and what they're going to do this week. Hi, I'm Julian Gibson. Welcome to your weekly NFL football pick sponsored by Asu Draw. By last week, I had a horrible week. I went two and three. Well, this week, I'm going with the Eagles to beat Buffalo, Carolina to beat Atlanta, Green Bay to mash up Dallas. The Patriots, they should be able to bounce back against Houston. And Monday night, folks, that's right, I'm going with the Miami Dolphins to beat the Giants 24 to 17. Well, let's go to my little sis, Kelsey Johnson. She still has a stranglehold on all of the guys. 
For all those who believe that I cannot sing, especially Julian Gibson, who always tells me the hush up when I tell him my favorite song comes on the radio, I have this one special rendition for him. Jingle bells, jingle bells, Kelsey's in the lead. And guess what? My picks this week are going to put me over the top. I'm going to have a perfect week. I'm going to go with the Cardinals, the Jets, the Packers, the Chiefs, and come Monday night, I'm going to go with, yes, my Miami Dolphins to win it all on Monday Night Football. I don't even need to pick a score because I'm so far ahead of the boys, they're going to need a miracle, a silent night to catch me. Only four weeks left. I have a lot of work to do. This week, I'm going with Carolina over Atlanta. I like Baltimore to go down to Seattle. I also like Denver over Oakland, Kansas City to beat the Chargers. And on Monday night, I'm going with Miami over the Giants, 24-23. Okay, it's that time once again. Still in vacation mood, but no team ready to go on vacation except the Atlanta Falcons because they're going to lose again against the Carolina Panthers who are going to remain undefeated on the season, 13-0. and 0. Cleveland with Johnny Manziel under the center will beat the San Francisco 49ers. Kansas City rolls by the San Diego Chargers. New York football Jets to beat the Tennessee Titans. And on Monday night, the Miami Dolphins in prime time taking on the New York Giants. You thought I'll go to the Dolphins? Hell no. I'm going with the New York football Giants. 28 to 21. Well, that's your weekly football picks for this week. And remember, join yours truly Monday night on Robinson Road, a draw Monday Night Football. Don't I have such a melodious voice, everyone? Hey, even Julian Gibson said that I did. Well, that's all the time we have for sports tonight. Once again, I'm Kelsey Johnson.